Well, next tonight, the robot dogs that could soon be coming to a farm near you. The machine uses uh, its agility to assess soil quality to help farmers choose what to plant and when. It's part of a wider project by scientists at the University of Plymouth. Our West of England reporter, Sangeeta Lau, saw it in action. It won't chase sticks or beg for bones, but it can hunt down the best place for plants to grow on this lavender farm. These robotic dogs are analysing emissions from the soil through the air, sniffing out the best spots for farmers to use. There are in total 12 motors powering all four of these legs. Jake, who built Elliot here, has taught him to analyse ecosystems, understand what gases are in the soil and how much moisture is in it. It's very rare to get full detail of what's going on in the ground and yet every square inch can change dramatically. Why does a farmer need that information? That information, uh, fundamentally, it can help them improve what they're already doing. It means the farmer has the power to then choose and decide how to best use and work with it. Do you think it's the future? I wouldn't say it's the future. Instead, it's the reality we're living in now. The aim is to improve biodiversity mapping on farms with some of the perks of a real pup. Hello, Elliot. Four. Almost. Sensors inside the dog basically act like its nose and the camera is its eyes, not only helping to analyse plants but also wildlife too, which will help farmers be able to predict how they can use their land better. For farmers, soil samples are becoming more necessary as weather conditions become more extreme, helping them understand where and how they can farm. So you can quite easily see where areas are flooding but you don't necessarily know how, much, how long water is staying or hanging around within the soil, or for that matter, not staying. They cost £2,000 each, but they don't need walking or feeding. After four hours of hard grafting, though, they still need time to recharge. Sangi Talal, ITV News, Cornwall.